E-Discovery veterans will already know the name Concordance, but all litigators today operate under its pivotal legacy whether they realize it or not. If you ever encounter the words load file or dat file or Opticon image in your e-discovery adventures, you are paying homage to the hard work that Concordance sweated through in the early, early days of e-discovery history. Concordance was developed in the mid to late 1980s by a company called Dataflight and quickly became the de facto standard for organizing, reviewing, and producing documents involved in litigation. In 2006, LexisNexis acquired the Concordance software properties and then decided to sell the entire product suite to cloud pioneer Cloud9 in 2018. Cloud9 already offer their own cloud-based SaaS review and analysis software, but they recognized that acquiring the Concordance product suite gave them an opportunity to expand their offerings for their customers. Once your files are processed and imported into Concordance, the useful browse view is still there where you can see all of the metadata fields populated for a single file or record. By default, you only see the fields that contain a value, but you can always click the tools menu and opt to show the empties, which is an excellent way to perform a quality check on the files. The table view is the way most attorneys will view the database where they can sort the files by any of the columns. You can also highlight a series of rows and right click to send the highlighted rows to either a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or into a case map database. Clicking the camera button will open the Concordance desktop viewer as a separate window that can be moved around on your desktop. The right panel displays the list of document information, which typically shows all of the metadata associated with the file. On the left side, you can see a bar of options for annotating the document and or adding redactions. If a document has any markups, including a redaction, the thumbnail view of the document will have a red exclamation point next to that page. One of the most significant features of Concordance has always been the ability to quickly search through a list of records and files. Once the database is indexed, you can use the quick search bar to find a word or phrase or bring up the search panel on the left to conduct a simple search, a form search, or an advanced search. For any search you perform, you have the option of combining it with a persistent search or determining if you want the search results to include email and attachment family members. The simple search allows the user to search for a word or phrase in a document which gets highlighted for easy spotting. The form search is also known as query by example, where drop downs allow you to narrow and focus your search. There's also a dictionary button, which brings up a list of all of the actual words found throughout the database. Lastly, the advanced search provides a number of options and also features an automatic tally at the bottom. Concordance Desktop provides a simplified approach for organizing documents with a series of tags which can be structured into folders. For example, you can bring up the Tags panel on the left side and create a new tag or folder and name it Issues with a sub-tag called Financial. When you come across a document that is relevant to the financial issue, you can apply that tag by clicking the checkbox. You can tag documents individually, or you can select to apply a tag to all documents returned in a search. And to take it one step further, you can apply the tag to all documents and the email and attachment family members in the search results. When you need to view only those documents with the financial tag, you can right click on the tag and select create query from tag. You can also query at the folder level that returns results for all of the tags in the folder. For more information, you can visit cloud9.com. Thanks for watching.